All right, guys, how many of you guys have actually watched the movie The Purge? Because at the rate that I think things are going with AI, I think that it can actually happen. Except with this one, it's going to be silent and deadly. So what you wanna do is you want to learn how to earn with these AI ETFs that I'm gonna talk about in this video so that when that happens, you can actually pay for your AI Terminator. I'll be back. So back in 2008, I just finished reading The Intelligent Investor by Ben Graham, who was Warren Buffett's mentor. And during that same time, we know what happened. Lehman Brothers you know, collapsed, Wall Street was crashing left and right, people were losing their retirement accounts, people were losing their houses, but it was also that exact same time when I finished my first summer job as a 16 year old. I was a 16 year old with money. And coincidentally, I also finished reading The Intelligent Investor. So I started looking for stocks to invest in. And what were great buys to me back then were AMD, Nvidia, Intel. Oh man, if you look at the price of Nvidia now, man, if I had bought back then but I didn't because I didn't know back then what I know now and what I know now is that recessions happen on a cycle especially great recessions and everybody and their grandmother knows the down low of this and they're all sitting on cash right now if I didn't invest in Nvidia did I invest in Intel or AMD I invested in neither what I did with the money that I first earned was I bought a PlayStation 3 and if you're watching this video right now this is an opportune time if you're thinking about buying a game console like a PlayStation, forget about it. Look at stocks because if you pick the right purchases now, it can change your life, maybe five, 10 years into the future. Now we're all aware that war has already started. Ukraine versus Russia, funded by the good old American taxpayers. Now what you might not know is that for the entire time, the 20 years that the USA has occupied Afghanistan since 2001, they spent a total of $849 billion. Now in a little over one and a half years, the US has spent a total of around $113 billion on Ukraine. Now this really sets us up to talk about two really important industries in the near future. Number one is transportation and logistics. Now, AI is going to play a pivotal role in this in the form of managing logistics and supply chains, autonomous vehicles, and drones. Number two, manufacturing and industrial automation. In this part, AI will be focusing on optimizing production, quality control, robots, packaging, and logistics. I mean, guys, it's 2023. We're not going to have humans creating missiles. So some factors that will contribute to the purge, wokeism, inflation, lower to middle classes stretch beyond imagination, a competing global power, that is China, countries that are switching sides with respect to the biggest trade partner. Now, the big question is, how do you compete against China when they're the biggest world supplier right now? The answer to that is with AI. Because supplying always requires two things, manufacturing and transportation. And luckily, I think that with respect to AI, USA is still number one in that game. Now, I spent a lot of time scouring through multiple AI ETFs, and it really came down to these two promising ones. The first one is RQ. ARC Autonomous Technology and Robotics ETFs, which is one of Kathy Wood's babies. Its expense ratio is quite high at 0.75%, but we're really after the holding. Now they're holding a 14.5% portion of Tesla in their portfolio. We all know what Tesla does, but what we don't know is that when people are driving their Tesla, Tesla is actually mapping out their routes, mapping the roads, recording the routes, and creating an optimized data bank of routes. And what do we think can be used for this? Supplying and transporting goods, I assume. Now, Kratos Defense and Security Solution holds around 7.8% of the portfolio. These guys focus on warfare. They focus on weapons, unmanned systems, cyber security, warfare and combat systems so when you are transporting really valuable goods you're gonna need some good guards you don't want Dominic Toretto to be doing a fast and furious and heisting your goods from you now the last one I want to mention in this list is Teradyne 6.39% now you might be wondering what do they do well with respect to Tesla and Kratos defense system and basically anything that has, that has anything to do with technology they need to use chips and before those chips are used and sold, they need to be tested. Who does that testing? That's exactly right. Teradyne does quality testing for those chips that are used in basically everything. Now, the second one I want to talk about is BOTS, Global X Robotics and Artificial Intelligence ETF. Now, their expense ratio is 0.69%, which is not that far off from RQ. And I'm really looking at their holdings here. And the first one, it was what caught my eye, NVIDIA Corporation at 11.93%. I don't need to talk about them. They're the dominant supplier of both hardware and software. 
software. They're number one. That's all there is to it. Now, all the businesses that you've heard of so far has something to do with manufacturing. And when it comes to manufacturing, they need to do it in buildings, right? And those buildings need power and they need their power managed. How do they do that? Well, that's where ABB Limited, holding a 7.9% of this portfolio, comes in. They do that power management. They provide those power management systems. And lastly, holding a 6.84% of this portfolio is Fanuc. Now, I believe that they come from Japan and what they do, what they provide is robots for manufacturing. And that's exactly as it sounds. I mean, like what more do you want so if you're liking this video so far you might want to check out my next video SCHD or Bitcoin my bet on woke America because there's some really interesting theories in that one but here's the thing AI is very 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 new it basically just started at the beginning of this year so we're on the ground floor and I can already see AI taking over people's jobs which is dangerous because we're already in a very competitive world a very competitive job market with too few jobs and when people don't have jobs they don't have a way to feed themselves to shelter themselves and that's when they're backed into a corner with nothing to lose and that's when they're most dangerous and guys to be frank you guys already know if you've been following this channel that i'm a software engineer and i expect that ai will someday replace my job and conflicts are going to rise we can already see this happening just take a look at france italy netherlands it's happening just not in the u.s yet the divide between the rich and the poor will get bigger and the differences between the haves and the have-nots will get wider so how i see it is that ai can be a ray of light because it can help the u.s regain their dominance as the world supplier but it can also be the downfall because AI can put a lot of people across many different sector out of jobs but at the same time when that happens and conflicts rises it can also be AI that will be there for you as your 24 7 Terminator bodyguard but the singular advantage that you have over everybody else is that you know about this now so you can actually decide whether you want to invest in AI or not which you probably should consider seriously or you can actually go and do what 16 year old me did which is buy a PlayStation